Davis and Dons. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up. We're back for another video, guys. It's a nice sunny day. Just as I start, the aeroplane decides to go. Let me get a bit closer. Closer to you. Is that better? Yeah, guys, so welcome back to another video. Today I'm at home, I'm in the back garden, it's a nice day, Sunday, bank holiday Sunday, so I thought I'd do a quick video, okay? Um, if you've watched months ago, I've done two videos so far on a thousand questions about me, and we're meant to be going through this book, so now I'm going to do another ten, so this is a thousand questions about me part three, okay but before we get into it guys before we go any further please like 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 up the video like you know what is the like you go in press it you're gonna see the little thumb like this turn blue i need those yeah like up the video subscribe to my channel share out the channel okay and leave a comment below content is hard to think of if you've got anything you want to see me do any kind of challenge we'll see about that any cooking recipes anything this channel is the diva just me my name is marcia i'm in london england at the moment and this is just this channel is for fun, it's therapy, it's exhilarating, yeah, and and, and I just want to keep it upbeat and happy, okay? So, getting into this, so we're going to get into this book, Thousand Questions About Me, there's all the questions, and um, I'm going to answer the questions as honest as possible. Not as honest as possible. I'm going to answer the questions honestly. Um, but keeping it humorous. Alright. We're not going to get all depressed and all of that. Oops. Stick a bit. Okay guys. So we're going to get started. Okay. So I'd like to say cheers. I'm drinking a rum punch right very very nice and if you want to know how to make this rum punch in less than a minute go over to my tiktok guys at the diva the diva go over to my tiktok um follow me and check out how to make this quick rum punch in less than a minute very nice mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into this. So we have reached question 21, yeah? Question 21, what do you regard as the lowest depth of misery? The lowest depth of misery has got to be if somebody close to you died. It's got to be death, death, somebody close to you. Question 22, what is your favourite occupation? Well, what is my favourite occupation? Um, what I've had or what I would love to do? I would have loved to have been an actress. I would have loved to have been an actress, celebrity, you know? Have a nice mansion house, nice car. I'd have loved to have been an actress acting in movies or a soap or EastEnders or something. I would have liked that, yeah. Um, what is my favourite occupation so far? Well, um, I've always worked in hospitality, guys. I used to work at for the Hilton Company in London. And then I worked 10 years for Royal Caribbean Ships. Just stopped that since COVID and decided to stop that. So the ship was my favourite occupation so far. Um, because you're travelling around the world, you meet a lot of different people. Um, 10 years I've done that, working on ships out all over in the ocean and 
yeah if you want to know more about the ship life or would you go and work on ships away seven months a year from home or seven months of contract um i worked for royal caribbean cruises yeah it was good if you're interested to know more about that you can leave a comment below or you can dm me my instagram and um, i'm gonna leave all those details at the end of the video okay um what is your most marked charis chari it's one of them words to twist up my tongue What is your most marked characteristic? Characteristic. Character. Ristic. Characteristic. <laughs> Cheers to that, guys. What is your most marked characteristic? Um, characteristic. Everybody tells me I roll my eyes. I don't even know I'm doing it. They told me at school. They told me in all my jobs. My mum, my dad, my friends, my enemies. Um, I, my mum said to me the other day, you better stop doing it. Me and my mum was talking on a WhatsApp video call. She's in Jamaica. And she said something to me, and I didn't even know I'd done it. And she goes, roll your eye, roll your eye. I mean, I care if you are, roll your eye. So I don't even realise I'm doing it, guys. So one of my most marked by people is the fact when I roll my eyes. And I think when I roll my eyes, it's because I'm stopping myself from saying what's coming out of my mouth so it's better that I roll my eyes or they say I roll my eyes but I believe I just look up so I don't know <laughs> question 24 what do you most value in your friends what do I most value in my friends some of these questions might be a bit repetitive from the first two set of videos I've done for this and others to come but I'll just answer what as it comes anyway what do I most value in my friends is um, trust trust if I can't trust my friend and what trust and honesty those two things trust and honesty and then it's got to be a real friend you know yeah I don't really want nothing from you can trust them and they're honest it's gonna roll the friends I have really around me, five or less, I've known them 30 years or more. And I think the least one I've known is 10 years. I met her on the ships in my first contract. She knows who she is. I'm just going to say V, V, big up V. That's my smallest good person who I would trust, 10 years. But the rest of the one of my bestest friends of, who's still my mate from school. Me and I went to school together. She's still around me. Another one I've known since I'm five. And then another one I've known for the last 31 years. And uh, it's a long time. And I'm 52. So it's a long time. Yeah. Um, who are your favourite writers? My favourite writers. God, I'm in it. I haven't read a book in so long. I was a little bookworm when I was young, you know, at school. My favourite writers. All I'm going to do then is say one that I remember I used to read. Stephen King. I used to like, I like Stephen King books, yeah. When you get into them, there's a, they're a bit scary. And then when I was at school, I used to um, read a book about a character called God, I can't remember her name Beezus or Beezus was the sister a little American girl I followed her from 
um, nursery school all the way. I can't remember her name, guys. I'm mean, now boss me brain, trust me. But yeah, let's say Stephen King. I did like Stephen King books, yeah. Um, 26. Who's your favourite hero of fiction? My favourite hero of fiction? I tell you what, I ain't into Batman and Superman and Spider-Man and all of that. He-Man and Muscle-Man, I'm not into all of them. <sighs> hero of fiction. So if the telly was on and I saw this fictional character. Hero. I haven't got a hero. But what could make me watch? And it was fiction. Because I don't like them animated. I like the old Walt Disney movies like Snow White and The Seven Dwarves and all of that. I don't like these new movies all fight, fight. Um, I'll tell you who I like who's animated, fictional. Shrek. Shrek and Fiona. I'll sit and watch them. <laughs> I like Shrek and Fiona. I'll sit and watch that. All right, next question. Question 27. Who are your heroes in real life? No, sorry. That's question 28. Well, we'll do it, and then we'll do question 27. So, question 27, who are your heroes in real life? In real life? Does it mean who is my fictional hero in real life, or who is my hero hero? Um... No, 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 No heroes, guys. <laughs> nah, none. Right, question 28. Which historical figure do I most identify with? I've never had this question, never had to think about it, right? But I would say I have eyes like Queen Nefertiti. Especially when we have an eyeliner and mascara. And I have a personality of Nanny of the Maroons. So for those of you who don't know, Nanny of the Maroons is a, one of Jamaica national heroes. And she is on the $500 bill, I believe, right? And she was a... A runaway slave in the history of Jamaica. She's on the Jamaican island, but she was also a leader of um, a leader of against slavery. She led her little battalions and fought against slavery and all them things. Nanny of the Maroons. Google her. I would say. Um, if in history I had to pick who I would want to be, I would, and if I had to live in the slave time, I would want to be Nanny of the Maroons or one of her sistren. <laughs> yeah. Um, question 29. What are my favorite names? What are my favourite names? Mm, mine, Marcia. I like my name. My name's alright. When I was a kid, I didn't like my name. Listen, 
When I was a child in primary school, primary infants, I didn't like my name because nobody else had the same name. I went through the whole of my school years. I hope the trees are not disturbing the sound. I do have my mic content, so I hope it helps. Um, when I was a kid in primary school and infant school, I didn't like my name because nobody else had that name. I wished I had a Jane or Stephanie or Fiona, right? You know, nobody had my name. And um, it wasn't until I got older and older and um, I realized that three quarters of the women in Jamaica have my name. My name is all, all over the music records in dance um, I'm the dance hall queen, Marcia. <laughs> I love my name. Um, if you go out and you meet any guy trying to chat you up, Marcia. Oh. Me used to know one girl called Marcia. I hear that all the time. Me used to know one girl called Marcia. Or, oh, I got a cousin Marcia. Or, and then they got all kind of things to tell you about Marcia. So I love my name because it's connected with the islands of Jamaica and it's a well-used name out there. And I love, 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 if you know me. Um, my Jamaican heritage of my life and yeah so my favorite name is Femi Marcia I need that <laughs> and then the last question for this part three is what is it that I most dislike guys I most dislike anybody who comes around me and they're fake I hate fake I don't like a friend who's a liar I don't like a man who's a liar I don't like family members who are liars I don't like work friend who are liars all of those I don't like any people around me neighbors I'm gonna do a video very soon wait for it neighbors from hell guys I have got neighbors from hell I'm soon gonna do the video I don't like none of these type of people right if I can't trust and feel comfortable, I don't want these kind of people around me, believe me. And I'm the only child for my mum. I've grown up the only child. I'm so in tune with myself and my own comfort and my own company that I don't have to put up with BS from anyone or watch my back. I've got these friends around. Watch my back. what she said what she said watch my back watch my I ain't got time for that so that's what I don't like people around me but I can't trust yeah so that was part three of 3,000 questions about me we will go through this book it'll probably take years but it's a good book yeah and guys I'm gonna be reading this because I can't remember that right please one more time Press like, press like. My last video has got 134 views and five likes. Like it, you know, I feel love it, but like it, okay? So press like, subscribe to the channel, press all on the little bell so that when I drop a video, your phone will ping and leave a comment below. Any comment, leave a comment. Let me know people are watching, okay? And if you want to see me over on TikTok, I am on TikTok on at the diva, the diva, Instagram, the diva underscore the diva one, or you can join me on my Facebook, the diva just me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, guys, come on. I want to try get. All right, I won't be greedy. I want, of course, I want the thousand. But all right, let's get me to five hundred. Five hundred. Share up the video. Spin it round. We'll be doing all sorts here. Thought I'd sit in the garden today. 
because it's a nice day. Can you see my garden? My little flower flowers. Yeah. Yeah, guys. And some of those flowers, you know, guys, I planted them from seed. From seeds. Because I've got my little greenhouse. Let me show you. There's my little greenhouse. Yeah, guys, and, and uh, the flowers grew really well. So I'm really pleased with that. I like a bit of gardening, yeah. So, I, guys, I got some videos backed up from like a few months ago. Um, some more videos when I went to Jamaica in February, March. And I'm going to be putting them up. I'll just put late posts on them. But um, some people might enjoy to see them. So I'm going to be putting them up. I've got a couple of cooking videos to edit. I'm a bit lazy with the editing. I love all this. I love being on the camera and all of that. But the editing, man, boring. So it's not boring, but it takes time. You have to get you have to have the time and once you start you don't stop and it keeps me up all night and then I'm tired and blah, blah, blah. anyway like I said check out at the diva the diva on TikTok see how to make a quick rum punch rum punch in less than a minute it's TikTok yeah so until next time guys like share and subscribe